we left the Monterey area, Salinas area. We are now in Santa Cruz, staying at the Santa Cruz Harbor. We've been wanting to come here to Santa Cruz for quite a while. Um, just now, finally, been able to. Yeah, and we are staying in this fabulous. Good RV spot. It's kind of hard to get into, but we made it. <laughs> yeah. We're here for five days, and we go up the road just a few miles for two more days. So we're kind of in the area for seven days. Right outside our front door, there's bike paths that just go everywhere. Just fantastic. <laughs> Very vocal today. <laughs> so we thought this was a park. <laughs> somebody's private backyard we think so we can't go in there we also know of a couple of new beaches that I think are pretty close to here so weather permitting this week we're gonna go check those out I think. You can see our RV way across the harbor that way. Cafe Gratitude in Santa Cruz, California. I believe there's two uh, plant-based restaurants in this town. This is one of them. I ordered a Mexican breakfast plate of some kind. Scott's having a special today, tofu breakfast burrito. I'll tell you how it is. Okay, we are in downtown San Cruz on we are Pacific around. Avenue. So what do you think of your food at Cafe Gratitude? Um, it wasn't bad. Mine wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. I mean, it was just really bland and yeah. boring. It was just been an off day. It's Monday. It looked really, really good. Yeah. We needed a tiny bit of seasoning. Yeah. Salt and pepper yeah. or whatever. Fine. Yeah. Other but than that, the service was great. People were, yeah, the server was really polite. We weren't there for the server, we were there for the food. <laughs> <laughs> True. <coughs> and we're always glad when we find a plant-based restaurant. Yeah. And we did. We tried it. So. So he's wearing it. <laughs> I kind of feel like we're walking around Santa Barbara. Yeah. Because we spent six months. We did. We spent six months in Santa Barbara and kind of felt like this. But I don't know. Different. Very yeah, different very different vibe for right. sure. It's way more relaxed here in Santa Cruz. Yeah. Very friendly people. Very friendly so far. Yeah, I don't think there were friendly people in Santa Barbara. We did encounter some. Some, yeah. <laughs> here and there. <laughs> Thank you. 
so we are 10 miles north of the town of Santa Cruz, California. We're trying to find a nude beach. It's called Bonnie Dune Beach. It's about 10 miles north of the city. Uh, I don't know that this is an official nude beach, but there's a lot of write-ups about it online, and I've seen that it's kind of an, an unofficial nude beach, so we're gonna go check it out. on our video. <laughs> okay, so we did the beach. Um, kind of a bust of the nude beach today only because the wind was coming off of the ice cold water yeah. right onto the beach. Beautiful beach though. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, yeah. Um, there were some people there. What? Half a dozen or a dozen people that were Clothes free. Um, I don't know how they were doing it because it was really cold. Yeah, it was pretty cold. <laughs> I wasn't about to take my clothes off. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not one to get naked just for the sake of getting naked. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. Especially when it's cold. Or... Yeah, not, 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 not when it's chilly like that. Uh, we would definitely come back uh, if there was less wind coming off that water because once we left yeah. the actual beach, it's really warm. It's like 70 something degrees. Um, the air temperature at the beach is like 70, I think, but then that water is 50 or less. It's definitely not a swim beach. And no. It's very dangerous, but for listening to the ocean, yeah, looking yeah. at it, being naked, no wind, be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. There are some other nude beaches around here um, I've, I've seen online, but they sound even less official than this one. So we probably won't be checking those ones out, but they're all in kind of the same area within like 10 miles uh, up and down the coast here. We're just 10 miles north of the city here, Santa Cruz, um, and they're all kind of like in this area. But this is the one that's written about the most, I believe, at least from what I can find. And that's the reason why we tried this one. <laughs> yeah. But again, beautiful beach. If you're in the area, definitely check it out. Um, it's definitely worth a stop. We just rode our bikes to the uh, Santa Cruz Wharf, I think it's called, or Pier. Yeah, they're all like mm -hmm. snuggling in the water. Mm -hmm. Think about this place. Oh, it's really pretty. It's cool. Santa Cruz. Monterey across the bay.
Today we visit Capitola, California. It's right next to Santa Cruz. It's also very beautiful. Yeah. So apparently uh, Alfred Hitchcock in the 1960s spent a lot of time in the Santa Cruz area. As he was saying, Alfred Hitchcock spent a lot of time in Santa Cruz and he heard a story about um, this town, Capitola, that had a very strange occurrence about birds coming in and attacking the town, which inspired the movie The Birds. Yeah, very famous movie, 1961, I believe. I thought it was just an interesting tidbit we, we discovered online today. Yeah. Yeah. We knew we'd be coming here, so we, we like to look up facts about places we're visiting sometimes. We're gonna go take a walk downtown Santa Cruz. Somebody just bought a new hat. Yeah, me. Let's see it. I got a secret water. That's why I thought it. leaving Santa Cruz, kind of. Yeah, we're, we're just going like 20 minutes up the highway. Uh, we're leaving the harbor, which we stayed five days at. And we're heading up to a campground or RV park that apparently is in a redwood forest. forest. Yeah, so that should be interesting. Really cool. And this will be one of the shortest moves we've made in quite a while. Some spank material? No! <laughs> Passing the time material. <laughs> Something to watch while we're sitting here doing yeah. nothing, waiting for the clock to pass to tick. <laughs> so we have such a short drive to our next RV place we have we had to pull over on the side of the road because the policy is very clear. They do not want you arriving early. Yeah, they'll charge you. They charge you if you show up early. That's what their website said, which I thought was kind of strange. I mean, I've, we've shown up early before, and if the site's available, they they don't care. They just let you go into it. But you know, if it's not ready, that's fine. We wait. But yeah, maybe there's nowhere for people to wait. Maybe it's really tight. So we just had a we pulled over on the side of the road. We're in. Are these redwoods? Yeah, looks yeah like kind it. of small ones. Yeah. So we're kind of like sitting in a little redwood grove. Is that what it's called? Um, yeah. Watching some mountain bikers come by. Yeah. There's, there's worse things to watch. <laughs> and observation about Santa Cruz, California. 
um, amazing that you guys who live in San, Santa Cruz are out and about all the time. It's so fantastic. It was so cool like to be yeah. able to go out and there's just tons of people on bikes and rollerblading and roller skates and, and the beach of course, and beach surfers and, and playing volleyball and doing shit outside. It was so yeah. cool. And not just on the weekends, like during the week at all hours of the day, middle yeah. of the day, in the evening, non-stop. People bike paths. Active. Yeah, bike great paths to see. Too. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. We go to so many cities we spend time, you know, traveling to and we see so many populations and, you know, of people in cities just it, you know, doing the hustle and bustle thing, but in their cars. <laughs> yeah. You know, in this city, we notice, man, everybody's like on a bike, on foot, running, and hiking. Like, and it's just felt so said. safe, like being on a bike that people are always aware. It's a wonderful biking city. Yeah, like, yeah. Wonderful. Even on the street, it felt totally safe because mm -hmm. you know, almost every single street has bike lanes. And. Even though they're kind of skinny in some spots, uh, the drivers seem to take extra caution. We're out cyclists in this town. Of course, you always have to be careful and watch out for yourself, but because um, there's always a rogue, aggressive driver. We've really liked our stay here in Santa Cruz. Yeah. Um, it feels so different than Southern California, which you know we spent a lot of time in in the past. Well, we've lived in we've lived in Southern California before for two years. Yeah. Um, and we've traveled extensively throughout California, as you guys know, through the four and a half years that we've been on the road. And me personally, this is where I would, if any place that I've been or visited or lived, I would live in Santa Cruz or around Santa Cruz. Any place in California. Any place in California oh, yeah. that I've lived. This is yeah. absolutely by far my favorite. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. I like it. Amazing. I just wish the ocean water was a little bit warmer. <laughs> Maybe global warming will help with that. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, we made it to our uh, Redwoods campground just above the town of Santa Cruz. Super short drive to get up here, but it was pretty gnarly. It was super windy and super narrow road. We were fine on the road just barely because we have kind of a short rig. Um, we're just 24 feet going down the highway. Anything bigger, I would not have taken on that road. No way. It's a river overlook right here. This this is our neighbor site. They're not here yet. I'm sure they will be because it is a weekend. So these redwoods definitely are not like the ones we saw up in Northern California. Um, also Oregon, there, was, there were some large trees. But it's nice here, it's pretty. Um, yeah, especially being so close to town. Redwoods RV Resort. They call it a resort. I'm not sure why. That's the name. 
We are now headed to Big Sur, beautiful Big Sur. When we first hit the road four and a half years ago, we had a short camp hosting stint at one of the most sought after campgrounds in the country. At least that's what we were told. It's called Kirk Creek Campground. It's been on the cover of magazines and it's impossible to get a reservation there. And we lived there for two, two solid months. We were supposed to be there for like six months, but long story short, we left after two. Just there for a couple of days. We're gonna uh, visit some of the some of our old haunts there that we used to hang out in, used to hang out at. We're actually not, we're not staying at Kirk Creek. We're staying at a place called Plaskett Creek, which is run by the same people that we worked for. So that'll be interesting. All right, so that's it. We are out of here and look for our next update.